This is an intense full moon because not only is it a super moon, meaning that it's closer to Earth than usual, but it's also a blue moon because it's the second full moon in August. Welcome to Abundant Universe, the podcast that's all about you. Here we talk about your spiritual activation, awakening, and ascension, as well as your personal path to mindfully manifesting your most magical, fulfilling, abundant, and prosperous reality through quantum physics, ancient spiritual teachings, mysticism, and all things esoteric. I'm your personal energy alchemist, spiritual activator, quantum healer, mindful manifestation mentor, and host, L. Brandlin. And today we're talking about how you can use the super powerful, super blue moon in Pisces and retrograde energies to release karma and anything else that needs to go so you can manifest your desires more quickly and easily. So stick around until the end to learn about the most major energetic player we have at this time, so you'll know exactly how to use these very potent energies to shift yourself into your preferred reality now. And be sure to subscribe wherever you're listening so you never miss an episode that helps you make your dreams a reality. And if you're on YouTube, please like the video to let the algorithm know it should show it to more people who are looking for this type of content. Also, leave me a comment letting me know how all the crazy retrograde energies are treating you right now. And before we dive into these intense energies, I want to let you know that I just uploaded something that will really help you release everything you need to let go of to create the space you need to receive everything you're manifesting. It's an extremely powerful guided meditation of sorts to clear, balance, harmonize, and activate all of the chakras from your earth star chakra all the way up to your universal chakra, which will create an open channel for your energy to flow freely throughout your chakra system. It will also cleanse all seven of your energy bodies and infuse your auric field with angelic frequencies and light codes, and all of this allows you to access your own spiritual gifts, divine guidance, and manifestation power more easily and reliably, among other things, so you can fulfill your higher purpose and manifest your optimal reality with greater speed, ease, flow, fun, harmony, and synchronicity. So that's available right now to all of my one-to-one students, members of Sovereign Soul Society, or in my shop. However, there is a totally free version that clears, heals, balances, harmonizes, and activates your seven primary chakras in case you're not quite ready to unleash your superpowers just yet. It's actually more powerful and effective than most paid chakra meditations, and that's available in the free student portal. So hit up the show notes or description box below for all of those links, because these meditations will help you dramatically change your life for the better, even the free one. But if you're ready to walk as a master on earth in service to others right now, I highly recommend the full activation. And without further ado, on with the show. If you're listening to this the day I release it, tomorrow we have an incredibly rare super blue moon at 7 degrees 25 minutes of Pisces coming in at 9.36 p.m. Eastern Time, so that'll be on August 30th if you're in America, and August 31st for pretty much everyone else. This is an intense full moon because, like I said, not only is it a super moon, meaning that it's closer to Earth than usual, but it's also a blue moon because it's the second full moon in August. Moon energy in Pisces is sensitive, intuitive, emotional, private, internal, reflective, contemplative, and invites you to take a little time to be alone in your own energy to connect with your soul. 
And because the moon is in Pisces during Virgo season, this is about the polarity of chaos and order, intuition and logic, and the physical and spiritual realms. So the themes of this full moon include expanding past our comfort zones and holding more space to create new and bigger visions, highlighting our soul's messages, healing, shadow work, and self-discovery, releasing pent-up emotions, honoring what we've moved through physically, emotionally, mentally, and or spiritually, creating bridges and a deeper connection between our physical and spiritual selves, and relationship realignment, whether that's the relationship between your physical and spiritual selves, like I said, a romantic relationship, platonic, or familial relationships. This full moon energy is also bringing our shadows to the surface of our consciousness, so be aware of your triggers, but no worries because our healing powers are amplified at this time too, so take this opportunity to clear, release, alchemize, and heal. And this energy may also bring about a deepening in your spiritual awakening and ascension, as well as increased psychic and healing abilities, which is why I was guided to release my chakra clearing, healing, balancing, and harmonizing activation the day before the full moon, as it activates the higher chakras, so the soul star, spirit star, and universal chakras, as well as the thymus and alta major chakras, which activates literal supernatural abilities. So if you're ready for that right now, don't forget to hit up the show notes or description box after the show. We also have the sun at 7 degrees 25 minutes of Virgo at the time of the full moon. So that's a very analytical, scientific energy. It's also the energy of understanding the process and how everything is unfolding for you. And it's being balanced by the very opposite energy of Pisces, but they actually do have some similarities. Pisces and Virgo are both mutable signs that teach us to be adaptable, that change is happening all the time, and that it can be very positive. These two energies combined invite us to heal ourselves through personal transformation, both physically and spiritually. So this is the energy of letting go and allowing what no longer serves us to dissolve. And now let's talk about all the retrograde energy. Mercury went retrograde on August 23rd and is at 19 degrees, 17 minutes of Virgo. And this is the energy of learning and refining the mind. Mercury retrograde doesn't have to be negative or scary, but it can result in things like miscommunication or tech issues. So just be mindful of that possibility, but don't necessarily invite it into your reality by expecting it. We also have Uranus going retrograde at 23 degrees, 4 minutes of Taurus today, if you're listening to this on 829, and it'll be retrograde until January 27th, 2024. And the theme of this retrograde is adapting to a new reality, which we've actually been doing for quite a while now anyway. And Neptune, who rules Pisces, which is where this rare super blue moon is occurring, is in retrograde at 26 degrees, 47 minutes of Pisces. So Neptune has been in Pisces since 2011, which is when we really got into the energy of stepping more fully into our spiritual gifts. And this energy is reminding us that it's really time to live by our intuition and incorporate it into our daily lives. Also in retrograde is Venus at 12 degrees, 31 minutes of Leo but it will station direct at this degree point around September 4th. And it's almost squared to Jupiter at 15 degrees, 32 minutes of Taurus, which will go retrograde on September 4th as Venus is going direct. So there could be a lack of moderation in play to be aware of here. 
And finishing off all the retrograde energy, we have Saturn in retrograde at 3 degrees, 33 minutes of Pisces, making it a major player energetically right now because it's almost conjunct the super blue moon in Pisces. Saturn was at this exact degree point of Pisces in April and will be again from 1229 to January 10th, 2024, after it stations direct on November 4th. So it's in a process of closing out, ending, and releasing what's being illuminated by this full moon. This is also strong karmic energy relating to our energetic responsibilities regarding what we need to manage, take care of, and complete. And this is a merging of the practical and spiritual sides of life. So it's very aligned with the Pisces and Virgo energies we have going right now. Saturn represents our physical 3D world, responsibilities, commitments, etc., And when it's in Pisces, it signifies things that we have to finish up and close out, which could include significant karma, major soul lessons, and or something you're working through or working on. And Saturn encourages us to go it alone. So in Pisces, it's about trusting yourself to handle it. So what are this full moon and Saturn in Pisces asking you to trust yourself to take responsibility for right now? Plus, Virgo also encourages us to take care of things we may not want to deal with, and Mercury retrograde in Virgo is helping us backtrack, pick up where we left off, and make sure we didn't forget anything. So there's energetic support right now to address things we may have been putting off so we can bring them to a conclusion at this time and finally put them behind us. And that makes this a good time to transmute some of the Saturn retrograde and Pisces energy by setting an intention to receive angelic support with what you're bringing to a close in the physical world because Pisces is very connected to our spiritual or galactic support teams. So this full moon is also a good time to do some energy work around what's holding you back and what you don't want or don't need to carry forward with you into your next phase. And the activation meditation I mentioned earlier actually infuses your auric field with angelic frequencies and light codes, like I said, so that'll be very helpful for calling in angelic support. But aside from that, I also created and uploaded a super blue moon in Pisces release ritual to help you bring forth your manifestations more quickly and with more ease. So if you want some help harnessing all of these very intense and powerful energies for your greatest and highest good, that's also available. But that's not in the shop as I don't put moon rituals there unless they correspond with the wheel of the year rituals. So if you want to get your hands on that, please join Sovereign Soul Society or work with me one-to-one for 30 days, 12 weeks, 6 months, or 12 months. And again, all the links you need are in the show notes or description box below because you deserve to live in a reality of purpose, freedom, fulfillment, peace, mastery, the highest joy, magic, and abundance in every aspect of your life simply by being your true self. And I believe in you, so you should too. Much love.